Hi everyone, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and I'm going to show you how to create a vignette in your photo using Photoshop. And there's several ways to do this, and I'm gonna show you one that I think is pretty easy and gives nice, deep, rich tones around the edges of your photo. So let's get started. We're gonna go up to the top, and I'm going to choose the Layer button that's on the upper left-hand side. Click that, and from your drop-down menu, you'll choose Duplicate Layer. Um, you can name it something if you want, or you can keep it background copy there, and then hit OK. From there, you'll see that new layer pop up above your background. We're going to change the blending mode of the background copy from normal. So you can see here's where we select the blending modes. We're going to go from normal to multiply. You see when we change the blending mode, that multiplies the whole image and gives some nice deep rich tones. Um, however, with the vignette, we want those tones just on the edges of our photo. So we have to erase it in the middle. The next thing that you're going to do is create a layer mask here on this background copy. So we can do that by going down to the uh, bottom left hand side and click add layer mask and you'll see that pops up there. Then I'm going to go over to my toolbar on the left hand side and I'm going to make sure that my foreground is set to black and I'm going to go up to the middle and choose the gradient tool which is right here. It looks like a uh, square that goes from black to white. So I'm going to choose that one. Once that's selected, you're going to see the upper left hand side of your screen change with some different choices. You'll see one, two, three, four, five uh, little squares up here at the top. We're going to choose the radial gradient, which is the second one in. So select that. And we're going to bring that radial gradient to the middle of our photo. Now we have some uh, some creativity that we can use right here because you can choose how uh, big or small you want your vignette to be. Now I want it to look more natural, so I probably want it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to left click in the middle of my subject and keeping that mouse left clicked, I'm dragging it up as high or as short as I want it to go. Like I said, I want a bigger vignette, so I'm going to go pretty high. And once I have it where I want, I'm going to just release that click and I'm going to let Photoshop do its magic and take it off of my subject, but leave that deep dark tone around the edges. So you can see if I turn that off, there it is without the vignette. And if I turn it back on, now we've got that nice deep toning around the edges to create a nice vignette, but she is not affected by that. Hope you learned something here. Um, I did use this photo a couple videos ago to show you how to brighten up the skin. So you can go back and watch that if you're interested. I'll be adding new tutorials all the time. So I'd love it if you would subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching.